And now let's talk about the United States. It calls India its strategic partner. It is getting ready to host the Indian Prime Minister this summer for a state visit. But there's a gaping hole in this relationship. Two years into the Biden presidency, the United States still does not have an ambassador in India. Why is that? It's because Biden's pick is controversial and he's adamant about having his way. We are talking about a man called Eric Garcetti. He's the former mayor of Los Angeles. His tenure was riddled with scandals. His case has been held up since the day it was proposed. But Joe Biden refuses to explore alternatives. He keeps coming back to Garcetti for some reason. In January, the United States president overlooked the scandals and re-nominated Garcetti for the post of the U.S. ambassador to India. Another man is one step closer towards securing the job. A key panel of lawmakers has signed off on the nomination. But it's not a done deal yet. In the next step, Garcetti's candidacy will be put to vote. And it looks like he finally has the support he needs. So he may eventually come. But the whole saga has cast a shadow on the Biden administration's India strategy. From the day it was announced, the choice of Garcetti was a lost opportunity. The choice of the ambassador could have been a statement. It could have communicated America's intent to deepen ties with India, but Team Biden refuses to learn from their mistakes. Garcetti remains a controversial pick, but Biden continues to back him. And why is he controversial? It's because of a sexual harassment scandal. It happened when he was still the mayor of Los Angeles. One of Garcetti's top aides, Rick Jacobs, faced accusations of sexual harassment. A lawsuit was filed, and the mayor insisted he had no idea about this. But an investigation found otherwise. It said it was highly unlikely, and I'm quoting from what the investigation found, it was highly unlikely that Garcetti was unaware of what was going on. The probe was led by a Republican senator. These claims have damaged Garcetti's candidature. He's believed to be close to Joe Biden. Apparently, he was in the running for a cabinet position. But the Rick Jacobs controversy derailed that. It also scuttled his bid for ambassadorship. And that's not all. Like I told you before, Garcetti served as a mayor of Los Angeles. Let's look at some of the highlights of his tenure there. When he was in office, one city council member was sent to prison. This was in a corruption case. Another former deputy mayor faced a bribery trial. And there are more like him. A former head of the Water and Power Department pleaded guilty in a different bribery case. Garcetti's own chief of staff was caught up in a scandal. He was sent on leave for several months. This was over some insulting social media posts. And all of this happened when Garcetti was still in office. We must point out here that he is not personally linked to any of these cases. But America's second largest city was mired in scandals under him. And it does raise questions about his leadership. What kind of office was he running? During his tenure, the reputation of the Los Angeles government was tarnished and people lost faith in the leadership. So when the U.S. picks their top diplomat for their strategic partner like India, is Eric Garcetti the best, the best they can do? Is he the best choice? Has President Biden sacrificed the best interest of this relationship to push for his candidate? Like I said, the position of the U.S. ambassador has been vacant for two years now. And this is the longest gap ever. The last time something like this happened was in the 1990s when Bill Clinton was president. It took 16 months for the U.S. to send their ambassador to India. Then Thomas Pickering, the last ambassador, left, left his post in March 1993. He was replaced by Frank Wisner in July 1994. But in Biden's case, it has been over 24 months and counting. India still doesn't have a U.S. ambassador, which puts India in the same bracket as countries like Azerbaijan, Cambodia, Ecuador, Nigeria, Rwanda, and Zimbabwe, just to name a few. As of December 2022, as many as 20 ambassadorial nominations were still pending. And Indian officials are not happy with the way this case has been handled. There is no continuity or stability. American officials say this affair has become an embarrassment. Senator Mark Warner, chairman of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, said, and I'm quoting, it is an embarrassment that we say this is one of the most valuable relationships in the world, and yet we've not appointed an ambassador. 
and while India waits for an ambassador, who manages the US mission in India in the meantime? The charge de affairs. Usually, it's an American diplomat. In the last two years, multiple American diplomats have served on this post. So there is no continuity. And again, this is supposedly one of the most important allies of the US we're talking about. Biden has called India a quote-unquote indispensable partner, an important relationship, but he's not been able to find a top diplomat to serve in India. Would the US administration treat its other allies the same way? Can it go without an ambassador in Brussels, for instance, or Paris, or London? And this is not to question Washington's commitment. They need India on their side. And India is perhaps one of the few partners that enjoys bipartisan support in the US Congress. But in the case of the missing ambassador, surely Team Biden could have done better.